The jaws of the mako shark, such as these on display in South Africa, hold very impressive teeth. As intimidating as they are, the long narrow shape seems to indicate that they are designed for catching fish rather than ripping off chunks of flesh, such as the white shark's teeth. Both a mako and a white shark showed up on this shark trip and we have a chance to see the difference of these jaws in action. Watch how the mako struggles with this large piece of fish. The white shark on the other hand seems to exert almost no biting effort. Instead it very calmly seems to wait for its sharp teeth to tear right through the rope almost as though it knows this routine well. So, question, how much of the difference seen here is due to the mako being smaller and how much of it is due to tooth design?